Today, I'm going to talk about uh, how you can leverage dependency injection in a console application. Sometimes, let's say you want to experiment a uh, few features of C Sharp or some simple code that you want to try, and you want to try it out in a console application. <coughs> so, um, that is the best use case scenario for the feature I'm going to show you where you don't want to spin up the entire project as in like a web API or any sort of project that gives you a hosting out of the box. So console application is something where um, we simply try out few things and then we take it further. So one such example that I'm going to show you is where I have a person class that contains a bunch of properties, a string, date of birth, a date time, and of course, a get property which kind of returns the fake data for a specific person. So, um, and I have an entity processor class which nothing but which simply just processes the entity and basically loops through each property and then prints out what type of property is. <laughs> so, that's that. And there is another class called custom service, which is nothing but a straightforward console dot write line. Uh, that message coming from service method one, service method two. And this custom service is being referenced by entity processor. So let's say we want to call the method of this entity processor, which kind of processes the entity uh, from your program.cs. Traditional way without dependency injection would be to create a new object of entity processor and again it's a generic class so passing the appropriate type of person and then passing in the dependency that this entity processor has which is of type i custom service so again we are doing the new instantiation of a custom service class and then once we have the object we kind of make a call to the method passing in the person which we just generated using bogus.net uh, basically, it's like um, generating the fake data for a specific entity. In this case, it is person. And then I'm selecting the first person as a random person, then passing in that as an argument to the method process entity properties. So let's try to run this and see how it looks. As you can see, uh, the entity processor class prints out um, the type of the properties that person class has. And at the end, there is a method call um, of custom service one, which kind of prints like this is a custom service method one message onto the console. Now, if you have to keep repeating this uh, new instances again and again, it's kind of tedious. Um, so what you can do is um, instead of creating this new everywhere, you can literally add a reference. So first thing first, um, go to manage NuGet packages and install Microsoft.extension.hosting uh, NuGet package. Once you do that, you have to declare the iHost declaration like this, where you basically create the default binder. And once you do that, you call uh, configure services method. And then inside that, you define the scope of the your the scope of your service and the type of your service with their appropriate interface type so in this case i'm stating that anytime any class request i entity processor of type person you have to pass in the entity processor instance and the generic entity is person similarly if someone requests the i custom service you have to pass in the custom service instance and that's it. Once you do that, you can call, uh, you can actually request an instance by the specific method where you define like host.services.get required service of that type. Once you have that, it just behaves like the regular object uh, as we saw in a previous case. So, with that change in mind, if I try to run this again, you will see it gets the exit output. So uh, that's 
pretty much about using the dependency injection in console application. This is like really straightforward approach. Of course, we can customize this using the third party framework. And I'll make a new video on that one uh, pretty soon. But for now, this is it. If you think this was worth your time, please subscribe. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.